I'm nervous. What's Welcome up? back to Blanco Bronco Adventures. Tonight, I'm stealing the show. Well, okay. What are we doing? We're doing tires. Tires. And a I'm little just, extra I'm going to go home. No, no, come back. These are heavy. That's right, guys. You're following along our build. We got the Bronco still on jack stamps because we just finished up the coilovers. Time to say goodbye to our beloved Sasquatch setup. It's been really, really good to us. Can't complain one time. I'm telling you, our Bronco on factory 35 inch tires. Well, we made it up some stuff. Let's reminisce a little bit. Let's scooch in some footage, if you will. Remember when we went up the shoot? The shoot. The shoot. I will never forget watching you up Milt's Mile. Yeah, me You either. know, trying to tip the Bronco over like it was sleepy. These tires have taken us up some stuff other broncos that are you know in and around what we do they're on much bigger tires aftermarket tires and fancy ones you know i'm not complaining one bit the only thing i'll complain about is i never rotated the spare in <laughs> so the spare is brand new that's right never been off the bronco practically it looks so really nice it's nice we're going to use it as a comparison so let's bid our goodbyes to our factory Sasquatch tires. I can't even shed a tear. I got nothing. Let's upgrade. I'm just breaking these loose by hand with our T45. I don't still, I don't know if this is the right one still, but well, it seems right. It's working, so it's gotta be right. But I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do with these bead earrings. It's gonna be different. I almost beg to differ. You've never seen anybody do what I'm about to do with these beauty rings ever before. So let's get them off and I'm gonna show you. I told you, nobody's ever done this before that you've seen, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna be the first one to show you what we're gonna do with these. We're done with fake beadlock rings. Let me show you what we got going on over here. Well, this is our spare tire that never got used. Probably one of the like second or third times being off the Bronco. Look how pretty that ring is. Didn't even ever hit a rock. That's okay. We'll keep that one. That one looks nice. Others are gone. Garbage man's already backed up and he it's gone. A true 35 inch tire we got with our friends at General Tire, and we got set up with a set of Grabber X3s. You know, it's better when there's more numbers. This is a true 35, 1250, still rim size 17. Rim size 17, Blanco Bronco, what could you be going with? Well, I'm here to burst your bubble because we absolutely love our factory wheels. They've been with us for like 30,000 miles now. Ain't getting rid of them, sorry. Here's my opinion, guys. You upgrade your rim and tire, like, first thing. Why? Ford got you set up with a beadlock capable rim from the factory. You see all these holes? You can put bolts in them and actually make them beadlocks. Introducing to you a actual functional beadlock ring on our Grabber X3s. Take a look at that. What y'all look at this? I mean, come on guys. Your rim is already capable of being a beadlock. For what you're gonna pay for new rims, these rings in comparison are very inexpensive. Now, few things I need to talk about. These rings, I'm pretty positive, were the last ones like in the country, okay? Our friends at Next Gen Bronco Parks and Accessories, we were like, hey, we got to have a set of these. We can't find them anywhere. So they just went to work. If you can't find parts, they'll find it for you. That's how much they love Bronco parts. We got set. We got five of them. Comes that way. Now, if you notice the motif we're going with here, that's a Blanco beadlock ring. They don't come that way. Just like our coilovers, you just, you can't leave it alone. Go and do something that makes the Bronco yours. Our Bronco, I don't, I, I mean, there's other Broncos out there with white beadlocks, but not actual beadlock locks. 
Lock locks? Fake locks. Like that. We've had these on there for a while now. It was like one of the third or fifth things we did. I don't remember. But now we have a true bead lock ring in white. There's a couple things to talk about. You can't run these on the road. DOT does not approve full bead locks for road use. So we're never going to drive our Bronco on the road again. We're only going to be off road on dirt road trails. Every time we go on paved roads, we're going to bring an extra set of tires with us and we're going to switch them out in the parking lot and we're never going to drive our Bronco on road again with these wheels and tires. We're going to get really good at changing tires every time we hit pavement. We're going to have to pull a trailer with us with four extra tires everywhere now. Look at how good this looks. Look at that. We're still on jack stands, so, you know, the wheel well is not accurate, but I want to show you guys how to actually mount up one of these bead locks and do it in your own garage. It's kind of fun. Gets you like pumped up. You only have to get one bead over the rim. I'll show you. But then there's a really important way to torque these down. If you screw it up, well, you could screw up your rim because you strip it out. So let me show you what that is all about. So the first thing you've got to do, you got to get your old rim on your new tire. You're going to want to use some form of lubricant. We're going with Meguiar's quick detailer. You could use like Windex or like Dawn Dish over something. Say it right. Meguiar's quick detailer. Meguiar's. Ooh. Ooh. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> so, so what we're going to do, I'm no professional. Take my advice, you know, like you'd take a, you know, whatever. Don't listen to me. But Every tire has this little like barcode looking thing on it. So I'm going to line that up with my valve stem. Because like usually they put on tires like what's the heavy spot. Well General doesn't do that. But that's okay. Because with bead locks it's actually really hard to get them balanced properly anyway. Luckily for us we talked to a local tire shop that was willing to balance them after we mount them. So that's pretty cool. But again we're not driving them on the road ever again. Right? Nope. So, take your Meguiar's, Meguiar's, however you say that. Like that. Yeah. And all we're going to do is just, you know, spritz it down. You don't have to do a lot, but just a little. Then we're going to do the same thing with our rim. <laughs> Thanks for that. That smelled great. It smells great. We're going to take the rim and locate your valve stem. This got your little pressure sender thing. Be careful of the pressure sender thing. So we're going to put that in first. So once you get it down in there, find a crowbar or something and just slowly but gently stretch the tire onto the bead. Cut to a time lapse. There's going to be a lot of heavy breathing here. <sighs> There it is, you know, easy. It's not easy, it's kind of difficult. But hey, we did the other two, that makes four. We're gonna do the fifth one later because I wanted to show you the new one next to the new, new one. Anyway, so what you're gonna wanna do now that you've got your tire on, whew, just look at that, just nice. These are awesome. They are nothing like the fake beadlock, the trim ring or whatever you wanna call it. It's got this extra lip that actually goes down and the bead of the tire rests inside here. As you tighten it down, this actually goes in between the edge of the rim and the bead. Hence, bead lock, it's, you know, pinching it. So what you wanna do, just like I said earlier, this little barcode looking thing, I'm just lining it up with the valve stem. So about right there. Now, very important step, don't force these. If they feel like the bolt's not going in, Back it out, take a look at it. There could be something wrong. This is what you wanna do is take and just so, oh, we forgot a step. You've got to use anti-seize. You don't want to be on the trail and have a problem. You need to fix the bead lock and your bolt seized in there. That would suck. So a little goes a long way. Just a little dab, not much. If you do too much when you're driving down the road, I mean the dirt road, the trail, it'll, kind of spin out of here. When we did the beadlock 
rings on the first set of wheels that I did too much and it was a mess. So a little goes a long way. Get it lined up. And just get them started. And do that 24 more times. All right, so we got all of the bolts in the wheel. Use some anti-seize, drive them down slow. Now, I did something that I wouldn't recommend. You do you though, all right? I used an impact, a small one, to just kind of snug them down. Because what happens is when you're putting the beadlock ring on, it kind of wants to work its way on, you know, kind of cockeyed. So, so what we were doing is we were skipping like every other hole and just sinking it down to help get it seated to where all the bolts would catch thread. But now is the important part. No more power tools, all right? All you need is a torque wrench. You know, easy. So what we're going to do, Monica's making it real easy. She's putting a cheat sheet on the rim because, you know, math and trying to keep track of bolts five and two are hard. We'll put it on the screen. We'll put it on the screen, you know, right here, somewhere. Anyway. You're going to want to go in a star pattern across the whole wheel. Kind of like when you're, you know, putting a wheel on a vehicle anyway. You want to seat it on as square as possible. So we're going to do that. We're going to first start out by going to 10 foot pounds. And then we're going to go to what foot pounds? 25. 25 foot pounds. And then our final foot poundage? 45. 45. I think it recommends like 48.369 root squared apple crisscross applesauce but we're just gonna do 45 as we did on the other wheel seemed to work but the trick with bead locks is you just got to keep going until eventually you can't get any more turnage out of it your torque wrench is just gonna you know click 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 go around and around and around plus after 50 miles we can do this again on all of them Every time. great but we're not driving it on pavement 50 ever miles. 50 trail miles so that's like five years now it'll be like a week for us. Anyway, let's get to it. So it seems like it would be fun to try this whole, you know, fire, boof thing. You know, seat the bead that way. Never done it before. But I do know the trick is you got to get juice down in the tire. Well, let's just see what happens. We're using brake clean. I think it'll do the job. How much do you need? I don't know. Tell you feel good, I guess. Probably way too much. It's fine. Are you nervous? Don't be nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> he gets real late around here. <laughs> the Blanco Bronco's finally off of its factory tire. And I think that's going to be forever. Look at the way those beadlock rings just pop. Tell you what, well worth the change. General Tire, huge shout out for hooking us up. Uh, next gen Bronco Parts, for, you, you source this. We, we wanted these for a long time and we just couldn't find them. So huge shout out to you guys as well. Look at the way this Bronco has come together. Now, with it finally sitting on the ground, if you take a step back and just, you know, give a looky-loo at the whole thing, we're sitting nose low. So we are going to need to adjust those coilovers to give us a little more lift in the front. You know, hey, I don't mind a little bit of rake, but we're going off-road. We need all the clearance we can. Look at that. Hey, you just got to look at it. That's all you can do anymore. We got something a little special coming for the, you know, things that are missing. Maybe they'll stay missing. It's hard to say. Bad, you know, it, things are happening. Stay tuned. Get off your couch and go create an adventure because this Bronco is ready to adventure on dirt roads only. Bronco, Bronco Adventures.